Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about January 6th. It came and went. What a strange day. Uh, we had five decent days in uh, um, 2021, and then we had January the 6th. So we're going to talk about it today on the report from Tiger Mountain. Alright ladies and gentlemen, well I guess many of us saw the news on January the 6th, it's only one day old at the moment. Um, what the hell was that ladies and gentlemen? If that was the storm, uh, we're all, we should all be worried who are Trump supporters. That was uh, a complete um, clusterfuck as far as I was concerned. Um, basically, uh, you know, uh, Mike Pence was rumoured to um, um, not... Uh, certify the votes for Joe Biden, but of course he did. Um, we've long suspected he was a deep state criminal. Lynn Wood has been twittering all week that he is a deep state criminal. Um, that, you know, I mean, he was placed there in the sense that if, if Trump ever, you know, did leave, they would have somebody from the deep state there ready, and that was obviously Mike Pence. So, you know, he was not going to do anything to um, turn uh, overturn the election uh, on January the 6th. Um, everyone else, I mean, some um, GRP people, um, questioned the vote in Arizona, and obviously that caused trouble early on, and then uh, there were all those Trump protesters, and then Trump suggested they should all go down to the, um, down to the Senate, down to the, you know, down to the big white building at, on the mall there, and that's when, you know, many of them actually, um, stormed, uh, stormed the, um, stormed the Senate, and, I mean, what's incredible is, is, I mean, obviously, there probably were some Antifa supporters in there, maybe doing a few things to make Trump supporters look worse, but there were many Trump supporters there as well, I and mean, you can't say the whole event was put on by Antifa, which is a nonsense. There were many upset um, Trump supporters there, and they went down, and basically some of them stormed the uh, stormed the Capitol building, and, um, you know, you saw the mess that followed. One woman got shot in the neck, a uh, very sad situation, and basically, I mean, I mean, both, both, I think both houses had to, uh, you know, go back to their offices, and there were many interesting stills of protesters. One of them was in Nancy Pelosi's office, and you know they're all in hiding. I mean, you know, did to show that like the globalists were, you know, cowards. I mean, you know, these are the people that send Americans to war and have sent them to war for over a hundred years. But as soon as they're actually threatened themselves, they're actually total cowards. But you know, I, I just think the whole situation was was a gigantic clusterfuck, um, and that afterwards, you know, Donald Trump has been kicked off um, Facebook. Uh, he's been restricted on Twitter for at least 24 hours or something, and um, you know, and he's also admitted now that you know he's preparing to to leave office on January the 20th. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. I mean, you know, I mean, this is uh, the situation we're now in. I mean, the globalists have conducted a clue. It's pretty clear to anybody with a brain that they did, did conduct a. Um, uh, an election rigging um, situation uh, with the election of Joe Biden, but no one's going to be able to do anything to stop it uh, because this is the full power of the deep state. And, uh, you know, you see its influence on media and you see its influence. And, you know, I mean, what what has been the point of Donald Trump's um, whole opposition to all this? I agree that he has exposed it and that that is valuable. And it's, I guess it's good to know that we're ruled over by these criminal psychopaths. But he hasn't been able to stop it. And um, all this stuff with Q that he's going to be doing this and that, that all appears to be complete and utter nonsense. I mean, the guy is like two weeks left in office. So, you know, I mean, what's been the point of all this? And at this stage, as a Trump supporter... I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what the point of all this has been. And um, I guess, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm going to do a few more reports from Tiger Mountains, but I don't know if I'm going to... I don't see the point any longer in um, in continuing to talk about politics um, as there seems to be no point uh, because all our governments appear to be run by these criminal psychopaths and now they're going to be introducing um, mass vaccinations based around a very dodgy scenario with all this COVID bullshit. I mean, we're, re we're really in the <clears throat> final stages of the globalist plan and I don't think it can be defeated anymore. Um, and that's all there is to say, sadly. I mean, I wish it was different and maybe I'll feel different. You know, I'm just a bit, I just feel let down by, you know, what's been happening and you know, on all sides, and it's just a terrible situation. So that's all I've got to say on the report from Tiger Mountain. Thank you for listening.